UK and Ireland, who is ready for some epic superhero action? Avengers Infinity War is out tomorrow. It's supposedly the second most expensive movie ever made and features more stars than we can even count. But tonight, you are the only stars that count, so it's time to bring out your superhero skills for this war of words. I'm Shazza Carpenter, your Black Widow of Quizzery, and this is HQ Trivia, where your brain skills can help you pay the bills. If this is your first time, the rules are simple. I'm going to ask you a series of questions from easy to hard. You've got 10 seconds to tap the answer. If you get it correct, you move on. Answer all 12 right and you win or you split that cash. And tonight we have a heroic 550 pounds up for grabs. That's that incredible Hulk kind of queen right there. Enough to buy you a convincing Spider-Man, Doctor Strange and Thor costume for hours of fun. But before you wield the cash, you've got to reel that cash. It's time for Q1, which animal's name means roughly water horse, vampire bat, blue whale, hippopotamus. I've been on a horse by water on the beach, but that was a little different. Yeah, they look cute and cuddly when they're babies, but then end up being dinosaur-level dangerous. Good luck trying to saddle up on a hungry, hungry hippo. Hippopotamus. Your winning answer here. 132,412 of you splashing onto the next round. It may sound like a hippo track race, but London's Hippodrome is just some boring old glamorous casino. Q2, in which TV program would contestants be most likely to spend dingo dollars? Come dine with me. I'm a celebrity crime watch. Dingo dollars? I prefer pounds myself. The only prize on offer for crime watch contestants is jail time. The show dishing out the down under currency. It's I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. 126,614 of you still in here. Contestants throw themselves into disgusting and humiliating tasks, all in the name of winning dingo dollars and the public's affection. What people will do. Now I see you out there, players. I want to say hello to Gossip Dan, to Noah and Matt, Eve, Anthony, Lauren and Mihao. Hello to Rich Higgs and the boys. Hi, guys. Mark Beatty and Cohen Noble are out there studying hard for their exams with a little break for HQ, of course. Hello to the Brown family in Glasgow, James Harpin, Katie Boucher, Ryan Spencer, and the Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage Group Chat. Sounds intriguing there. Q3, Napoleon Bonaparte is often credited as referring to Britain as a nation of what? Biscuit eaters, dog walkers, shopkeepers. We have a bone to pick with Bonaparte. Whether he actually said it or not, we heard him loud and clear. Unexpected douche in the bagging area. He called us a bunch of shopkeepers. That wasn't very nice, was it? And that was a savage question. It was. That was a savage question right there. About 75,000 of you gone here on Q3. 50,000 and 15 of you still left in this race. Now, the little Frenchman was just bitter that we gave him a receipt with his Waterloo ass whooping. Q4, approximately how many people are born in the world every minute? 10, 32, 250. You guys are out there getting busy by the sounds of things. They say one born every minute, but their maths is way off on this one. Saying hello to 4.15 screamers a second is 250 babies born per minute. 35,578 of you born to be winners. No, it seems your special day isn't so special after all, as about 360,000 other people have exactly the same birth date as you do. Yeah, it's true. Q5, which London feature corresponds the most to the Peripherique in Paris? London Underground, M25, Cycle Network. The Peripherique in Paris. If you love rush hour traffic, then put a ring road on it. It's Paris's answer to the biggest car park in the UK. It's the M25. That is the answer we were looking for here. 18,653 of you still with us lost. 
Again, about 50% of you here on Q5. The Periphery has a speed limit of 70 miles an hour, with over a million cars using it every day. Good luck hitting seven miles per hour on that one. Q6, which movie was released in China as Interplanetary Unusual Attacking Team? The Force Awakens, Avengers Assemble, Guardians of the Galaxy. Unusual name there, I would say. It's utter nonsense, but it could kind of work for any of these films. The interplanetary team attacking unusually is Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it is 15,156 of you are guarding this game. They sure like their literal names in China. Pixar's Up was released as touring around on a flying house. Q7. Why do workers go on strike during the construction of the Titanic's older sister ship? Fear of a curse, lack of lifeboats, bats in the cargo hold. Yeah, the Titanic had an older sister, was born first. She didn't share her sister's fate, but the Olympic did share the same problem. One of history's biggest I told you so's. They went on strike due to a lack of lifeboats. Yeah, and it happened again, right? Savage question right here on Q7. Sizzling sausages, suffering succotash. 4,447 of you are still afloat right now. Wow, now rather than fix the problem, the fat cats just replace striking workers with non-union ones. Not cool, not cool at all. Q8. The richest woman in Britain is also the co-writer of a chart-topping hit for which act? Girls Aloud, Adele, All Saints. The richest woman in Britain sounds like she needs to be my new BFF. She may be a former Miss UK, but she definitely hit the top of the UK charts in 2000. Yes, a billionaire beauty co-wrote Black Coffee for All Saints. Who got their Java shot on that one? Utterly savage right here on Q8. Unbelievable. 4,000 players gone, 881 of you getting a Java boost here. Now, with a fortune of over 11 billion pounds, Kirsty Bertarelli is even wealthier than the woman appearing on her own money. Q9, who was not a guest at the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Theresa May, the King of Spain, Rowan Atkinson, who didn't turn up for the wedding. Who would turn down that invitation? She may run away from public debates, but Teresa wouldn't turn down a royal knees up. Pulling the sovereign sickie for this one, it was the King of Spain who didn't turn up. King of Spain for the win, 177. This is another savage one. You do realize that, right? Another savage here on Q9. Now, the King's wife still attended without him because who would turn down a chance to meet Mr. Bean? Not me. Q10. Which of these items did not feature in Albert Einstein's wardrobe? Socks, ties, hats. Who's got the fashion scoop on Einstein? We're about to find out. Getting a hat over that hair looks impossible, but they don't call him a genius for nothing. Going commando in his boots is socks. Socks is the winning answer here on Q10. 87 off, you sucked it to us right there. The reason, well, Einstein had a big, big toe, which kept making holes in his socks, so he abandoned them altogether. Q11, are you ready for this one? Which city's most visible clock is set a few minutes fast to ensure travelers don't miss their trains? Swansea, Liverpool, Edinburgh. And I thought I was the only one with that bright idea. I guess not. The only time it's set correctly is New Year's Eve because the last thing you would want is this lot celebrating early. Skipping the talk altogether is the Balmoral Hotel clock in Edinburgh. One of my favorite places. I love Edinburgh. 43 players got that one right. Fireworks at the ready because we are moving on to the final round with 43 players left in the game. 550 pounds sterling up for grabs right now. And those bragging rights, who is about to take home that win. Which of these pairs of celebrities have the same birthday? Brian Adams, Brian Adams, Gary Oldman, Gary Newman, Ice T, Ice Cube. Who are the birthday twins of this lot? 
Forget the bonfire, they both blow out their candles on the 5th of November. They're cool in attitude, but not ice cold in name. Twin brothers from another mother, another country, and another decade is Ryan and Brian Adams for the win here on Q12. And we have nine winners, my lovelies. <laughs> Congratulations to our nine winners. You survived, what was that, like four utterly savage questions. You are taking home 61 pounds and 11 P. So well done. We've got Heidi Hand, we've got Mal Dot, we've got JC68, SO12. I want to know where your avies are though. Where are your beautiful faces at? We want to see them, okay? What are you going to do with that cash? Let us know in the chat. Maybe you can go out and get that superhero outfit because you deserve it. You are all superheroes. Maybe the Hulk, Doctor Strange, Black Widow, whoever you like. What a heroic game, HQTs. You came, you stayed, you slayed. Thank you for hanging with me today. I'm Sharon Carpenter. You can find me on the socials that should be right here, right now. I'll be back tomorrow for another 12 rounds of awesome trivia for you and another chance for you to get your mitts on 550 pounds. Until then, winners enjoy your earnings, players enjoy your learnings, and I will see you soon. Bye. Woo!